Welcome to Global Academy Institute of Technology Foundation Incorporated. We're bringing community development with quality education for progress. This is MAP9, Quarter 1, Week 5 to 6. Objectives Perform appropriate first aid for injuries in emergency situation in physical activity. Identify the common injuries that may happen during a physical activity. Appreciate the importance of first aid. Apply appropriate first aid technique to specific injuries. First aid for injuries and emergency situation in physical activity. The impact of COVID-19 on sports and physical activity and well-being has disrupted its effect on social development. Since its onset, the COVID-19 pandemic has spread to almost all countries. All precautionary measures affect individuals, mentally, socially, and physically. Facing the new normal situation, Physical activity should be applied and done according to its new normal activities with safety health precautions. Follow the protocol how to avoid this pandemic situation like social distancing, always wear masks, alcohol must be used at all times and make sure to do healthy lifestyle always. Engage yourself in physical activities. Even inside your home, you can still perform it especially with or without socialization. But in every activity, we must be aware how to deal with a situation in case there is a need for emergency first aid, especially while having the activity. There is an injury. First aid. It is an immediate and temporary care given to a person who has been injured or suddenly become ill. It includes self-help and home care if medical assistance is not available or delayed. Objectives for first aid. To alleviate suffering. To prevent added or further injury or danger. To prolong life. What is physical activity? It simply means movement of the body that uses energy. Walking, gardening, brisking, pushing a baby stroller, climbing the stairs, or dancing the night away are all good examples of being active. For health benefits, physical activity should be moderate or vigorous intensity. Physical activities include walking briskly, about 3 and 1 half miles per hour, bicycling, less than 10 minutes per hour, general gardening, and dancing. Running, jogging, walking very fast, aerobics, doing household chores, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, and playing at the park. What are the types or four types of physical activity? The four main types of physical activity are aerobic, muscle strengthening, bone strengthening, and stretching. And what are the common injuries encountered in doing physical activities at home? A sprain is caused by torn fibers in ligament swelling and bruising are some signs and symptoms. So the first aid are remove any clothing or jewelry around the joint. Apply cold compress at once. Elevate the affected joint. The victim's physician may recommend an over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medication such as aspirin or ibuprofen, appropriate for the victim's general health. Heat exhaustion is a response to heat characterized by fatigue, weakness, and collapse due to inadequate intake of water or compensate for loss of fluids during sweating. So the first aid, have the victim lie down with his or her feet elevated. Keep the victim cool. 
give him or her electrotype beverages to sip or make a salted drink. Monitor the victim for signs of shock. If the victim starts having seizures, protect him or her from injury and give first aid for convulsions. Other serious injuries that require immediate care or first aid, it includes sprain versus strains. A sprain is a stretch or tear of a ligament, the band of connective tissues that joins the end of one bone with another. Sprains are caused by trauma such as fall or a blow of a body that knocks a joint out of position, and in the worst case, ruptures the supporting ligaments. Sprains are ranged from first degree, minor to third degree, the worst. Areas of the body most vulnerable to sprains are ankles, knees, and wrists. Signs of a sprain include varying degrees of tenderness and pain, bruising, inflammation, swelling, inability to move a limb or joint to joint looseness, laxity, or instability. Knee injuries. Because of its complex structure and weight-bearing capacity, the knee is the most commonly injured joint. Each year, more than 5.5 million people visit orthopedic surgeons for knee problems. Knee injuries can range from mild to severe. Less severe would be ten tendinitis, patellia, femoral compression syndrome, iliotibial band syndrome, and Bursitis, to name a few. More severe injuries include bone bruises or damage of the cartilage or ligaments. Major injuries are common to arterial cruciate ligament, meniscus injuries, posterior cruciate ligament, medial collateral ligament, and the lateral collateral, collateral ligament. Fractures. A fracture is a break in a bone that can occur from either a quick one-time injury to the bone or from repeated stress to the bone over time. The most symptom of a stress fracture is pain at the site that worsens with weight-bearing activities. Tenderness and swelling often accompany the pain. This is very important for the coaches to recognize and refer the athlete to the trainers or the team physicians. Dislocations when two bones that come together to form a joint become separated, the joint is described as being dislocated. Contact sports such as football, basketball, and lacrosse, as well as high-impact sports that can result in excessive stretching or falling, cause the majority of dislocations. A dislocated joint is an emergency situation that requires medical treatments. Home treatment for sprains and strains. Minor sprains and strains can be treated at home using the following measures. Start treatment as soon as possible to reduce swelling and in speed up recovery. The less swelling, the more blood can get to the injured part to start the repair process. Apply the RICE method. Do not heat during the first two days as this will only increase swelling. Use paracetamol for the first day of the injury to reduce pain without increasing bleeding. Thereafter, ibuprofen or other non steroidal anti-inflammatories or aspirin is a good choice. Don't give aspirin to a ch child younger than 16 years. Apply arnica oil to reduce swelling. And then, remove rings immediately if the injury is to the hand or fingers. After 4 hours, 48 hours, Start moving the limb gently but only enough not to cause pain. For fractures, apply the RICE method. Keep the limb on the position you found it and place soft padding around the broken bones. Splint the injury with something rigid such as rolled up newspaper or magazines to prevent the bones from shifting. Don't move the broken bones. Splints must be long enough to extend beyond joints above and below the fracture. If there is an open fracture, cover it with a clean ghost pad. Apply pressure to control bleeding. Don't try to push the bone back into the wound and don't attempt to clean it. Get medical attention immediately. Fractures of the femur and pelvis may cause severe 
internal bleeding. Don't give the person anything to eat or drink in case surgery is needed. See a doctor if you suspect a fracture or dislocation or if you are unsure of the severity of the sprain or strain. You cannot strengthen the affected joint to bear weight on it or if a joint feels unstable. The skin over the injury area is broken. The limb below the injury feels numb or tingling. Or if white pale or blue is color, in color. Or feels colder compared to the other li healthy limb. The ligaments of the knee are injured. You injure an area that has been injured several times before. Pain is severe or lasts longer than 24 hours. Or if swelling doesn't subside, Within 48 hours, a sprain or strain doesn't improve after 5 to 7 days. Signs of infection develop. Prevention. Many exercises include injuries can be prevented. Don't be a wicked warrior. Get yourself into shape gradually with a graded exercise program. Listen to your body, warm up properly, and cool off after exercising. Use proper equipment and correct technique. Use common sense to prevent injury in everyday life. Don't carry heavy objects. Watch where you step. Keep your home safe. To prevent falls, older adults should keep their muscles strong by exercising or doing tai chi. Rice method. Rest the injured part, especially from the first 24 to 48 hours after the injury. This is the most critical time of treatment. Avoid any activity that causes pain or makes it worse. Use crutches if the leg, foot, or ankle is the injured. Support an injured wrist, arm, or shoulder with a sling. Tape an injured toe or finger to its healthy neighbor. Ice is an excellent anti-inflammatory and reduces swelling and pain. Apply an ice pack or cold compress for 10 to 15 minutes as soon as possible after an injury. Repeat each hour for the first 3 to 4 hours, then 4 times a day for the next 2 to 3 days. Protect your skin with a thin cloth. If the ice packs are unavailable, a packet of frozen vegetables in a cloth will do. Compression also reduces swelling. Use elastic bandages for at least 2 days. Check the bandage is not but not too tight. Take the bandage off at night. Evaluation Elevation Drains fluids from injured tissues. Elevate the injured area whenever you are sitting or lying down. Try to keep the injured area at or above the level of the heart. And for your activity and assessment, you can visit our e-learning site. Thank you so much for having your time with me. That would be all for today. Have a good day and God bless.